Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, Macedonianism. Believe it or not, Macedonianism has basically nothing to do with Macedonia, as far as we can tell. Some sources suggest the group had a leader named Macedonius, but even that isn't 100% certain, because no actual Macedonianist writings have survived. Here's what we do know. Macedonianism was a heresy that came into existence sometime in the 300s, and is also sometimes called the Pneumatomachian, or spirit fighter heresy. Either name is a mouthful, but what it basically means is that the person who believes this heresy denies the full personhood and divinity of the Holy Spirit. Macedonianists believe that Jesus created the Holy Spirit, making him a created being, and therefore not God. Now, at the time, this wasn't immediately noticed as a heresy, because they could still say the Nicene Creed and mean it. See, it didn't go into much detail on the Holy Spirit, just the words, I believe in the Holy Spirit. They took this as their loophole to avoid saying that the Holy Spirit was actually God. However, St. Athanasius heard about this group during his third exile, and in 362 AD, he held a council which condemned Macedonianism formally. However, even apart from the formal condemnation, there are good reasons to think that the Holy Spirit is really divine. To start with, Or know you not that your members are the temple of the Holy Ghost? 1 Corinthians 6, 19a. If the Holy Spirit were anything less than God, it would be inappropriate for him to have a temple. Temples are used for worship, and only God should be worshipped. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan tempted thy heart, that thou shouldst lie to the Holy Ghost? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? Thou hast not lied to men, but to God. Acts 5, 3a and 4b. Here we see that lying to the Holy Spirit is lying to God. Ergo, Now, the Lord is a spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 2 Corinthians 3, 17. Pretty self-explanatory, that one. Next time, what's donatism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.